I have $80 and I'm gonna show y'all what I'm getting every single week for a college-friendly, budget-friendly, bulking grocery haul. We're here at Aldi, so without further ado, let's get in the store and see what I'm getting in this grocery haul. Maybe like, Casey, why do you have a quarter standing outside a grocery store? And that's a great question, because a lot of grocery stores don't have it, but Aldi, you need a quarter for the cart. If you wanna push a cart, you gotta put a quarter. You get it back, though. You get it back. We're here at Aldi, one of the cheapest grocery stores. It's also what makes your groceries cheaper, having to push your cart, because they don't gotta hire someone to push the cart. Then your groceries are cheaper. I'll take that any day of the week. Start off right here, mini bagged avocados, good source of fats, and they're small, so you can like have like a whole one at a time with each meal. Super easy, and I found that the mini ones get riper faster. So like, when I cut into an avocado and it's hard, that just like bothers me so much, so. Then pretty much my only vegetable source really comes from broccoli, because it digests easily with me. I know that's probably an unpopular opinion, and a lot of people are like, broccoli doesn't digest with me. For me, I found it does. I have super sensitive stomach to fiber, and when I air fry this or put it in the toaster oven, it comes out perfect and it tastes better. It almost tastes like popcorn and not like gross steamed broccoli, not a fan. We will do, oh, we'll only do, normally I do lightly salted rice cakes and I'll put honey on them. Looks like they only have caramel, so we're gonna have to go with caramel. Obviously not as clean of just brown rice, but we're bulking, we, we, can, we can have a little bit of extra something. It totally depends on the day. Sometimes it'll just be like, wow, I'm hungry, I want a 50 calorie rice cake. Sometimes my pre-workout meal, I end up getting too engulfed in work and I'll be like, oh, I need some more carbs, so I'll have like three or four of these before I work out. We got some sourdough bread right here. This is really good because it's very minimal ingredients. Sourdough is a very gut-friendly bread, so it's gonna help us digest fast and it's just, it's an all-around good bread. There's not a bunch of BS in it. We have some salsa verde right here. This is my favorite salsa ever. Put this on chicken rice, put it on beef and rice. Literally put it on whatever you want, tacos with corn tortillas. This is super, super easy and it's delicious and it's literally just ground up tomatoes and vegetables. So like this stuff specifically, it's not like this. Don't get this stuff, get the good stuff. Not a sponsored ad. Salsa sponsor. You'd be surprised, dude. I need to get sponsored by G Hughes. I talk about their sauces all the time. The amount of people like, I got the G Hughes Polynesian because of you. I'm like, G Hughes, where you at? Is really good. Pretty much the same thing as avocado. It's made out of avocado and then like onions and some spices, but it's guac cups and these are always ripe. And these are good if I'm using something like salsa because they go well together, guac and salsa. So I'll put these on tacos, I'll put these on chicken and rice, like Southwest bowls, super good, super simple, and it's the same serving size, so I don't, I don't even have to weigh anything out. You just, boom, slam it on the bowl, it's good to go, 120 calories, 10 grams of fat, healthy fats, we're good to go. Next stop, quick oats. One tub left. We got the lucky one, $4. I, I, do I have to talk about oats? No, I don't, they're oats. If you guys have watched any videos of anyone, of any bodybuilder ever, you know, you know what I'm talking That's about. That's really interesting. Yeah, like, what's the bodybuilder's first meal of the day? You got oats and you got cream of rice and occasionally a protein pancake. All right, and normally I'd come over here and grab some almonds, another healthy source of fat, but I got a bag from Sam's Club that's three pounds. And I really, I don't need almonds for the next like three months. So normally I do almonds, but today we're not doing that. I want those. Yeah, I'm not going to, but. Why, man? It's but I want them. These are hot now, everybody likes these. Yeah, mini there. squares. No, I don't need them. I have too much food at home, and they're $10. Our budget would be ruined. On to the next one. The kicker is you either have to grab boxes from here or you need to buy or bring your own bags. I choose the cost effective route. Five pound bag of jasmine rice. This is the best jasmine rice I've ever found. Aromatic, delicious, hits every meal. Five pound bag for $5. You can't beat it. You can't eat cheaply, you're doing it wrong. And I also, not only do you use this as just regular white rice, like with chicken and rice or beef and rice, I also blend it up in like a little Nutribullet and it just makes the perfect cream of rice if you keep blending it and it's so much cheaper than buying it in the little boxes of cream of rice. So much cheaper, way more cost effective and it actually tastes better. That's what I do with rice. Oh my God, they, even cheaper now. Even cheaper. No, it, it, they used to be, 679 marked down to 619. Now it's 619 marked down to 599. 93.7, 100% grass fed, grass finished beef. 93.7. You can't even get that for the regular. Yeah, I'm gonna get a bunch of packs. Oh, we're on a budget. I can't stock up right now. Probably three pounds a week will be good. No, I actually don't, but I track it as raw. I do the calculation. I'm a nerd. There's the economics coming into play. Yeah. So I like, I know what it is cooked versus raw. Yeah. Like, yeah. Weight, it's a pound, you start, then you weigh it after, you do the division, and then how. Don't do that, guys. Just weigh it as cooked or raw. I just like being specific. So we got chicken breast, thin sliced. 
Oh, young chicken? I don't want young chickens. That's mean. They said young chickens. That's sad. I mean, I eat plenty of meat where I'm killing enough young chickens, but it's like veal. I don't want to eat veal. Chicken breast, another thing I don't have to talk about. Buy it in the family pack. So much cheaper. $2.29 a pound. This whole thing is $11.34. This might actually last me more than a week. Uh, no, that's a lie. But it's yeah. five pounds of chicken for $11. If you can't eat cheaply and get your, I can't get my protein in case it, it's too expensive. Clap the chicken. No, I'm actually gonna get some of this olive oil. Right here, extra virgin olive oil. Organic extra virgin olive oil. Uh, good source of fat, super healthy for you. Not very inflammatory, so it's a good fat to add to your diet. Throw it on the chicken and rice, throw it on whatever you want. If you throw one tablespoon on, 130 extra calories, and it makes it easier to eat. I can't get my calories in. Look at it, look, olive oil. Anything with fats is gonna be your best friend while you're bulking. Just not crappy, super saturated. Oh, saturated fats are okay, okay. But not super inflammatory things. Another carb source, sometimes they'll chop these up and make like homemade tortilla chips. Super easy. They're actually kind of good for cutting too. It's 80 calories for two. So if you want a little bit of carbs with a meal, I'll make these. It just varietizes my meal. I'm all about variety. It's like eating the same thing can get boring, but if you have different carb sources, different sauces, things like that, easy. You could eat it forever. Over here, we have another one of my favorite fat sources. I feel like I keep talking about fat sources, but again, good for bulking. Grass-fed butter, uh, super good. Makes all your meals taste better. It's super good. It's a lot healthier than the super processed and crappy regular butter. But if you can if you can only go with the regular crappy butter, totally amazing. Then we have some of my favorites here. I'll go right here. Not gonna end up getting cottage cheese today, but cottage cheese is awesome for just protein. It's protein and fat. Has a lot of slow digesting protein. If you eat this before bed, super, super good snack. Throw some granola or something, fruit in it. Super good before bed. But I'm actually gonna pick up this vanilla Greek yogurt. Really good. Again, a lot of protein. Does have quite a bit of sugar in it, but if you're eating this for something like a pre-workout meal or a post-workout meal, not a problem at all. You actually want those sugars to refill your glycogen stores and to get all the carbs in there. So Greek yogurt is an awesome staple that I have in my diet. Good for breakfast too. If you don't want to have like oats or something like that, something a little cold, fresh, Greek yogurt's great for that. One of the last stops on the list, I have my almond milk. You might be like, oh, Casey, why do you choose almond milk over regular milk? It's kind of just a digestion thing. And when I was on prep and just like general cutting, lower calorie, way lower calorie, and I can drink a lot of it, I put these in my Ninja Creamy ice creams. Perfect texture every single time. Vanilla almond milk, because it tastes a little bit better. Probably not as good for me, but we're bulking, remember. I was like a dollar off. Wow, yeah, I was like 80 cents off. Thank you. No problem, I hope you guys have a great day. You as well. $70 for the week. Easy. Didn't use this box. Normally you can leave it here. Whoever's next and might need the box. All right guys, that was my budget friendly bulking grocery haul here at Aldi. We hit under $80, it was $70 and a couple of cents, but that's how you can eat healthily, cheaply, and achieve your goals while you're bulking for not too much money. Save you that bread. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe below for more content and follow me on my personal page at Casey Kelly Fit.